All right, hello and welcome to this textures tutorial. Uh, this video should cover pretty much everything when it comes to changing textures. And this method will work on pretty much every texture in the game. But just for example, I'm going to be changing the portal gun texture. Uh, a fair thing to note though, if you're reading this in the case of speedrunning, if you want to change some textures in your speedruns, this doc, this is the list of textures that you're allowed to change. If what you're looking to change isn't in this document, then you're not allowed to change it. Uh, this list could be expanded over time. Use this sheet as a reference. Uh, if it's not in here, don't change it. Uh, if you're not looking to speedrun, then have fun. I don't care. The world is your canvas. In the description, there are links to the three tools that we'll need here. Uh, there is VPK Edit by Craftable Science, VTF Edit Reloaded by Skyrim, and finally, this little tool called VPK Compress. So we're going to download all three of them. Uh, the links should take you to a page that looks similar to this. I'm going to scroll down for VPK Edit. We're going to go to the Windows Installer. For VTF Edit Reloaded, you're going to scroll down and you could choose either the .7z or the zip file. And finally, for VPK Compress, press the download button here on the top right. Once all three tools are downloaded, VPK Edit just comes in an installer. So open up the installer. Uh, if it gives you an error like this, click on More Info, then Run Anyway. And install VPK Edit. Uh, for me, it says VPK Edit is already installed because I already have it installed, but it'll just take you to the installer if you don't already have it. For VTF Edit, we're going to open up the downloaded file. And as you can see, it's not an installer. It contains the uh, DLLs and everything as well. So we're going to extract it into a new folder. It's going to call it VTF edit. And we should be able to run it from in here. And similar thing for VPK compress. It's just a full program. So we're going to go to extract VPK compress. And I get everything extracted. So the first step to changing a texture is obviously finding the texture to change. So uh, inside of the texture path doc, which I will have linked in the description, uh, you can see not only do we have, I guess, the list of textures that are allowed to be changed for speedruns, we also have the file path for it as well. Uh, this isn't just the file path that we can go to in the portal two directory. However, we need to use a specific tool, VBK edit, to get to it. So in VBK edit, we're going to go to file, open. We're going to go to our portal two directory, go to the lowercase portal two folder and scroll down till we find pack 01 deer. We're going to open that up. And now we can just follow the path like in uh, the doc. So materials, uh, models, V underscore models, or sorry, weapons is next. Then V models. Uh, the difference between, I guess, view model and world model. View model is actually what shows up in your hand. And world model is what shows through portals. Like it is the actual model that shows up through portals. Uh, we're going to change the view model. So V models, V portal gun. And now we have a bunch of different files here. The one that we're looking for is V portal gun dot VTF. So V portal gun VTF. We could double click on it to see what the file looks like. Once you get the right file, drag and drop onto your desktop. Now that we have the VTF file here, we could go into VTF edit reloaded. So open up the program, go to file, open, and select the VTF file. This is how we're going to extract it from the VTF format into a normal image format that we could open up in our favorite image editor. So we go to file, export, and we're going to export it as a JPEG. Then close out of a VPK and open the image in our favorite paint program, whatever that might be. This is where you have your fun. I'm going to do nothing to stop you from making your portal gun look however you like. I'm just going to go nice and simple and draw a smiley face. So once we have our image uh, finished and saved, just like that, close out of our print program, reopen up VTF edit, 
going to go to file, import, select our uh, JPEG file that we've edited, keep all these values uh, default, and then we're going to save it. We're going to save it as a .vtf, call it v underscore portal gun, like our original file. Once the file is saved, you'll see two files now appear, the vportalgun.vtf file and a vportalgun.vmt. We only need the VTF. The VMT just contains uh, all sorts of, I guess, stuff about the texture. It really isn't needed for, uh, for this case, though. So for now, I'm just going to delete it. Now, if you remember back when we extracted the texture in VPK edit, we had to go through this whole file path to get to it. Well, to compress the VTF back into a VPA that the game can read, we need to basically do the same thing, but opposite. So we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it pack01 underscore deer, just like uh, the file that we opened before, making sure it's spelled correctly. We're going to open up this folder. And from here, we're going to create new folders, just following the file path that we originally followed. So materials, models, weapons, V models, V portal gun. Then we could drag our V portal gun VTF right inside. The final thing we need to do is to compress the VPK. So let's go to the VPK compress program that we extracted and drag the Paco one deer folder into the VPK.exe. Then on our desktop, pack on deer should be made. To get this pack on one into Portal 2 so that we can read it, we're going to go to Steam and we got to go to the Portal 2 install directory. So go to manage, manage, then browse local files. And we're going to create a new folder. I already have it because uh, I already made it, but create a folder called Portal 2 underscore DLC 3. I have a lot more just because I have a lot of custom content, but create this folder. If uh, if you already have a DLC 3, then make a DLC 4, then, you know, keep going. Uh, but portal 2 underscore DLC 3, open it and drag the Paco 1 file inside. And that should be it. So if I open up portal 2 now and enter any map, you should see that we have our custom portal gun. It's kind of hard to see but you'll see that the smiley face is there and so is the subscribe text. So yeah, this method works for pretty much every texture in the dock. Uh, just make sure to follow the right file path and make sure that you extract the .vtf file, not the .vmf file. So yeah, that's pretty much it for textures, but there's also a little bit more to this tutorial specifically for Portal 2 speedrunning. And those are mod packs. One note about textures that I'm going to mention before uh, continuing about mod packs is that if you are planning to submit runs to speedrun.com for a full game, uh, you're going to need to upload your VPK, your custom VPK file, and upload it alongside your run. So you'll see that uh, in this run, there's the Portal 2 DLC 3 folder with the pack one inside. So any custom textures you make have to be submitted alongside your speed run. So if you want to change anything other than textures, whether that be models or the UI of the game or anything like that, then you'll want to use mod packs. Uh, mod packs are pre-packed VPK files that contain any game files. So whether that be textures like we did before, models, UI changes, etc. And in the case of models, uh, they're actually a list of pre-approved uh, mod packs that you can use in your speedruns. So if you go to the resources channel and the portal to speedruns discord, at the bottom here, you'll find a set of mod packs. You'll find mod packs that are useful for speedrunning, mod packs that change the UI of the game, and mod packs that change different models. The thing with mod packs is that if you want to change the models or the UI, you have to use these pre-approved ones from resources. What does pre-approved mean? Pre-approved means that 
you could use them in your speedrun and you could submit your run without needing to submit the mod pack alongside it. Uh, they have already been pre-verified by the moderators. So as long as you use these specific from resources, you're all good. So let's download one of these. I'm gonna download a custom player gun model. So let's go to the drive folder. Uh, there's a lot to choose from here. Let's choose, all right, let's choose the pair gun. So we're gonna right click, go to download, and I'm just gonna download the file just to my desktop is fine. So you'll see that once we open up the download, we have a pack on one file, just like the one that we made for the texture. So once again, we're gonna go back to Portal 2's local files, back to that DLC3 folder, and we're gonna replace the pack on one deer that we made before with this new one. Uh, unfortunately, most models don't support the custom textures that we made before. So this pair gun, uh, doesn't actually support the subscribe texture that I made previously. But once we've dragged that in, we can open up the game, enter a map, and if all has worked, we will have, once it loads, there it is, a pair on our gun. So the pros of mod packs is that you could just have this one click download. Uh, and not need to include the VPK at all inside your speedrun.com submission, which is nice. So if you want to download multiple mod packs, instead of making all these DLC folders, what you can do in just one folder is paste in the files with different names. So pack 01, pack 02, pack 03, and so on. So I have these three mod packs here in the same folder, just with different names, and they'll all coexist just fine. So if you want, you could use this method to install multiple mod packs just to keep your Portal 2 directory nice and clean. All right, and that's it. Uh, if you want to suggest any uh, custom models or any UI that you want to be a part of official mod packs, uh, at some point soon, there'll be a form to do that right by the allowed custom textures doc. It'll be right below it here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.